Hey guys, what's up? I'm Drew and welcome to my channel. Anyway, I just wanted to bring up that, uh, has this ever happened to you guys? I need a new vinyl. Do, do. Ooh, Blink-182, the Mark Travis show. Love this vinyl. Dude, it's cool. Eh, butts. Oh. Hey, but the, where are you going? We were just talking last night, and I just thought they I can clearly see you getting into that. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Now, if you don't get the point of the of the short I just did, it, basically what I'm trying to get at is, yesterday I went to the mall, into the store of the Hot Topic, and I noticed someone that I knew personally that I've been talking to, or my, who I considered to be my friend. Apparently, that person wasn't. As soon as that person noticed I was in there, they made the decision that oh, it's him. I'm gonna sneak out of there and try not to get noticed. Clearly, since I'm talking about it, it didn't work. Now, I wanted to bring up the conversation of telling people what's wrong face to face. So a lot of people have this problem where they're too afraid to say what, how they feel or let their feelings out. And I always feel like you should let your feelings out. You should never be afraid to tell somebody what's wrong. Whether you have a problem with someone or you just disagree with something that they did to you. Now I feel like you should always speak your mind and that people should be able to handle how you feel and not treat it like a complete jackass. Because growing up I was, I always kept my feelings in and then once every blue moon I'll have a random outburst of anger and just take it all out on something. And it's not very good to hold in all your anger. So I would like to tell you guys to don't let your anger out and keep all your issues with your people all to yourself. You should talk to the person you have a problem with them and don't bottle up your problems. Because the more you bottle up your problems, when the one day where somebody pushes you over the edge, you were just gonna freak the hell out. I have a story that I would tell about a situation where growing up I was very seen or emo, whatever you wanna call it, which is no problem whatsoever, I have nothing problem with the way you dress or who you are. You are who you are. But where I came from, I was made fun of a lot for being that way. I had long brown hair, I had a red streak going down the middle, my hair reached my shoulders, and I wore nothing but black. I was one of the creepy scene kids from my school, and nobody accepted me, and this one girl would just keep on badgering on about me until something happened. And I will bring that up later on down the future. <laughs> Don't, I don't want to go into that. Maybe we'll make a separate episode of me talking about past experiences that I've had. Let's just say that something really bad happened and I regret it all the time. And of course I said sorry for what happened. And it was because I kept all my emotions bottled up. And after keeping it bottled up for so many years, I eventually just broke out into anger. Tell me if you guys have ever had that problem. Please leave a little uh, comment down below if you've ever had that problem. If you completely agree with me, give me a big old thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed this, every week I upload a new video on Saturdays. Um, you should hit the big old subscribe button. Big old subscribe button. Uh, click on my little icon. I think it's that corner, or that corner. The little icon in the corner. It'll lead you to my uh, YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys next week.